Hello everyone, welcome to Kung Fu Dao Life. Today I would love to share with you how to do this Qigong movement, Qinglong Pan Zhua. I'm really really happy to see lots of you typing the number 8 in comment section. That which means showing me is that lots of you really want to train to learn this Qigong movement to help to release your back pain or even to do more exercise for your spine. Those days is really important now. Eh? Okay, now let's get into it. Let me show you what I know and hope that will help you. First, spread your legs, make yourself comfortable. Nice, easy, move the hands up, close to your chest area. Then turn your body to the side and extension your arms further under the arm, stay on your shoulder blade area. And then you come back to position to back the central. Then we change to other side. Top arm extension, under arm is on arm bed. And then come back to the central. Then drop your hands down. We finish the movement. Simple, right? Now let's dive in. First, put attention of the legs working. The leg distance with the shoulder same level. Distant, slightly bend your knee, make yourself comfortable, no two tension, same as your hips losing. When we do this, basically think about left side as your uh, stationary. Move your right side, turn to the side, to do the absolutely face to the side. The right, this leg is uh, turning, is a feel more resistance. It's like something pulling, hold you. Then you turn. No, just turning. That's a more common mistake. So we just try to remind ourselves when you practice. So you turn, but the feel still pulling down. So hold your spy there. Then the same time, next one we're going to our spy. When you're turning to the side, try don't leave in too much. Is keep the central line. Then just like translating the central to the side. That's your body. Check you. Your body sit in the central, then twist. And the other tip is that when you're turning, your shoulder area feel like engaged. Uh, feels like a hush up, just a little bit. Huh? That's your shoulder area. The third one is arm movement. When you go here, the top hands get extension. The under hands back to your arm bed. This is the same, right tent. You are stationary. So the side, leg, hip, arm, arm bed is station, stationary. On the top of the hands is more spinning or turning. Right tent, the right side, other side, turn, turn. The hands is extension. But don't leading. It's a feel the spies tend to stay where you are and reach the maximum to reach the other side. The last thing is very important is the finger. This name, movement name is called Qinglong Tan Zhua. Zhua is your hands, your claw. So this is really important is to keep a strength straight. This is the same too. Only your strength straight will active shoulder area. So for your back, when you turn, you feel the half the shoulder, this arm extension. Move, move forward. That's how to release your back pain or stretch them well. Okay, so let's go through it again. First tension, point feet forward. Second one, when you turn, keep this more resistance, turning to the side. Keep the spine in the central, shoulder a little bit engaged. I say, and the arm section is arm under the armpit, represents the stationary. Upper hands, try to reach further. Meanwhile, keep body stay in the central. Active your shoulder area, stretching to the Maximum. K 
keep the finger as a dragon claw reaching forward. Yeah, and you can feel this. The shoulder, the spine is feel like zing, zing, and right maximum. Okay, that's the movement. Now, how does the breathe still helps you next level of your movement, which is when you start from here, you move up, there's no breeze. When you're traveling to the side, see, exchange that, it's inhale. When you're here, hold your breath, just naturally hold your breath to reach to the maximum. Then hold the breath, reach the maximum, use your breath to extra, give you a little bit of push to your shoulder blade area. That's the maximum you will benefit of the muscle. And then come back, exhale, release the breeze. You move other side, inhale, hold your breath during the time, reach the maximum. Then use the breath inside of your body, little bit poop, poop to your shoulder spine area. And then let the breeze out. Then dropping down, hands, inhale when you're up, exhale, dropping down to finish the movement. Okay, now let me lead you a few more time. So when you start from here, keep the feet straight forward, knees, hip, relax, spine straight. Now move the hands without the breeze, traveling up, turn the body to the side, use inhale, hold your breath, Try extend a little bit more. Feel the shoulder blade separation. Feel the cloud hands. Then back, exhale, let it go. We turn the other side, move, inhale. Hold your breath, extend, maximum, feel the spine, shoulder. Use the breath, <clears throat> and exhale. Other side, inhale. Hold your breath, feel the shoulder blade area back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. Hold your breath, feel the air, the chi in your shoulder, spine area. Exhale, let it go. Then you finish. Inhale, exhale. So that is the movement. You can, once you understand the detail, when you're training them, you're training them each set for three times. And that will get more benefit because three times is gentle, a little bit more, and maximum. Okay, so that allowed your system or muscle to understood and trust, then reach the maximum. Okay, no two rush, straight away reach the maximum that can be hurt your back. For some of you really want to find out the whole form because the whole form is 12 movement. This is only one of them. In this weekend, we're going to have a live stream seminar going on. We're going to learn from number one to 12 movement in the whole form. Of course, including some meditation methods to how let you get into the state of meditation or Zen state. So of course, if you only training this one movement also helps as long as you keep training them and this will give you a lot, lot benefit of space for your back pain relief. That's really helps, trust me. The thing is keep practice consistently, right? The very key word you need to pay attention is the most mistake, common mistake is that your leg, no resistance when you're turning the side. For example, look at my leg, you just turn. When you turn, your hip turning too, so you don't have the feel the separation of your hip stay on the spine turn. It's a miss that exercise. Important, leg, hip, little bit more, Stay uh, resistancy and during the time tend to the maximum. And next one, the shoulder have to be feel this area. 
is extend, extend. Feel this big joint of the shoulder is like a zoom, zoom, really work. Which arm extend, which shoulder, say this is like a shoulder, right? Is zoom. This is a shoulder uh, extension, right? Zoom. Hold the maximum. And use the chi air is zoom, feel the muscle. And then you relax. On other hand, is stationary. It help you balance it. You don't move. If you, once you move, they don't have engagement. It's just too loose. You want to stretch the muscle. So one side is stationary. Other side is flexible. Okay, turns like feel. This is my shoulder joint, ligament. This is stay little back, and this one is more and shoulder back. Okay, for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope this really helps your daily life. And for more, I will continue to do all my best to make more videos for you guys. Take care of yourself. Looking forward to see you next one. Thank you. Boom.